With me once again is the future star in mixed martial arts, Ivan Tenna. Ivan, what's up, man? How are you? Pretty good, man. Like I said, I just got done training. Feeling good about my day. Uh, got to go for a run in a bit, but other than that, feel good. You're going to go for a run still and do homework? Yes, sir. It's Every day is a grind. I never get to really rest, but it is what it is, you know. Yeah, well, I appreciate you coming on the show. The hard work's going to pay off. So uh, since we last spoke, we have uh, some big news now. Combat the Americas, October 13th, for 145-pound gold in your debut for the promotion. How does it feel? It's uh, it, it doesn't feel like I've been really doing this for too long. I, I had my first amateur fight uh, the 29th of April of last year, so it hasn't even been two years, but feels like it took forever, man. I finally got a big fight. Uh, this will probably be my last amateur fight, too, before I go pro. Uh, I was scheduled to have a pro fight uh, before this in the last Combate card, but that fell through, so we're going to do this one instead. You know what? As we were talking about in the first interview, I, I think you're more than ready to go pro, but you're young, and, and you know what? Best, you know, the best comes the best. You're going to get a belt right before you turn professional. I think that's pretty cool. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm real excited about this one, man. It's a big one for sure. Yeah. Do you have a spot for when you win the belt where you're going to put it? Honestly, I have a couple other medals over there in my closet. It'll probably collect dust over there. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll give it to my gym, but first I got to win it. <laughs> yeah, of course, man. Of course. You know, I don't know if I told you this in the first interview, but I actually had, I was the WWE heavyweight champion, so I still have that belt. Yeah, it's actually hung up over there, and uh, it's beautiful. I'm the heavyweight really? <laughs> That's incredible, man. Hopefully one day we can, like, match our belts or something. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So <laughs> just looking at this card, I don't believe the full fight card has been released uh, yet, but they have a few key names on there. Eric Perez, former UFC vet, big fan. John Castaneda. Amanda Serrano is making, uh, coming back to Mixed Martial Arts. That is pretty awesome that you're a part of such a massive card and it hasn't even been fully released yet. Oh, yeah. There's, there's just so many great things about this Combate card. Uh, first, it's that, that main event with Goito Perez. Uh, UFC vet fighting Castaneda, and th that's a title eliminator. And the winner of that fight is going to fight uh, my, my teammate, Jose Aldai, who won the title in the last Gomate card. Um, I got two or three other teammates fighting on the card along with me. It's in my hometown. I'm fighting a really uh, – I'm fighting Ali Muhammad, which is a great name, you know what I mean? And another thing that I'm excited about is uh, Jimmy Lennon Jr. is the announcer, which uh, if you're familiar with the fight game, you know that guy is just a legend. So, super excited about this fight. I'm so grateful for this. Yeah. Well, first, Jimmy Lennon uh, Jr. is incredible. When I, covered, uh, when I covered the Strike Force event when I was 11, he, like, walked right past me, and I was starstruck. Like, like there was no freaking <laughs> Justin Bieber. That, that was him. Like, I saw Jimmy Lennon. I'm like, oh, my God, this Jimmy yeah. Lennon. And that guy's going to announce my name now. It's, so, it's such a trip to think about, you know? <laughs> yeah. Lucky, lucky. Well, anyway, oh, actually, this is something I did want to touch on. It is in Tucson, Arizona. It's literally in your backyard. You'll be fighting in front of your friends, your family, as you said, with your teammates, a couple teammates as well. That was pretty awesome. Do, do you think that fighting in your hometown, because I know it's been a while, do you think that that's going to add on any extra pressure or confidence? <sighs> well, as of right now, nothing. I mean, it's just it's good to know that I get to sleep in my own bed cut weight in my own gym and just not have to worry about transportation too much but uh there might be some pressure there's going to be uh quite a bit of people that are going to watch me fight so uh but good vibes only man I only feel positive energy right now no nerves or anything yeah yeah well as you mentioned you did mention your opponent I, I don't know if that's been released yet but I guess it's been released now anyway talk about his game a little bit uh when watching him fight what sticks out to you He's just, uh, from what I've seen of him, he's he's an athletic guy. He likes to wrestle. Um, but other than that, I, I plan on knocking him out. Um, I think his record's like 8-1 or something. He, he's a good guy. He, he has the, the belt for the uh, 145-pound division uh, for rough. So, but nothing nothing that I don't think I can't handle. I spar with uh, some of the biggest names in the scene. Jose Aldai, Casey Kenny, Joe Madrid's fighting. I got so many great training partners at my disposal that I don't think he's going to bring anything that I haven't seen yet. Perfect, perfect. Well, I mean, once again, this is going to be a great fight. One thing we can always expect with you is an exciting fight, but for fans who've never seen you compete before, for people who are going to be in attendance watching this fight, what are we going to see from you? I, I throw heaters, man. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm a wrestler. I've wrestled before. I have a grappling base, but I like to throw hands. I like to throw heat and – uh. I'm definitely going to be, be in there throwing heat, looking to finish every time. I've only ever had one decision on my record. 
everything else has been like a knockout or submission. So I'm definitely gonna gonna look to end it for sure. It's gonna be a good fight for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Before we go, Ivan, I do want to get your thoughts on another big fight: McGregor and Khabib. Who you got? <laughs> Did you see the press conference? Yes. Jesus, Louise, is it's just like so much hype behind that thing. Uh, in my heart, I truly want to see Conor McGregor knock him out. Just to, just to just to see that timeline, you know what I mean? Just to see such a great dude come through and uh, win the belt again. But Khabib's such a strong fighter. He might be probably, like, if he beats Conor, he might be the best lightweight of all time. I don't – the only other guy that, like, might compete with that is, like, BJ Penn. But I think Khabib would have ran through him, even in his prime, honestly. But such a good fight. I, I really don't know who's going to win, but I'm definitely going to be watching. It's a big event. Yeah. You know, man, I really have no idea who's going to win, but all I can say is this, and, and this is just, this is common, you know, common sense, but Conor McGregor, he has that striking ability. Obviously he's incredible, but Khabib does, I, I kind of consider Khabib to be like a, like a 10 times better, well-improved of Ben Askren where they're just wet sweaters. They'll grab onto you and just oh, yeah. take you down and keep you down. But I, I just think McGregor, I think his wide stance is going to prevent him from getting taken down. Yeah, that's what makes this fight so exciting. You just really don't know where it's going to go. It might even be a mixture of both. Maybe Khabib will win a couple of rounds and Connor will light him up. Yeah, yeah. well, regardless, it could be great because even if Khabib wins, which is not going to happen, but even if he does win, <laughs> it means there will be a second, there will be a third, and who knows, maybe in the fourth fight and each fight's going to sell it. It's only good for the sport, really. Oh, yeah. And uh, I guess Nate Diaz is fighting for a belt. I heard that. I don't know if that's true, but I don't know if they're making a new, di new division, but it's a definitely a great time to be a fan of the sport. For sure. Yeah, I, I was actually was going to ask you about that. The 165 pound division. Now it is kind of it's funny that both fighters made that post about it, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. At least not in the UFC. I don't think so. Yeah, I guess Dana White said it wasn't going to happen, but pff, I wouldn't complain. I love Nate Diaz. I'm a big fan of Nate Diaz. Dustin Poirier is a banger too. Love to see five rounds of that for sure. I just want to thank my team. Chris Curry also, Casey Kenny, my family, my father, my mother, everybody that's just been with me. It's been, uh, it's been a good ride, man, and there's definitely more to come. So um, anything you see now, it's just going to be amplified in the next couple of years. We're just going to keep growing, keep developing. It's going to keep getting better for sure. And I want to thank you, of course, man. You're a great guy. Thank you.